Does the government work for us or do we work for the government? Can a man who essentially agrees with President Obama on all the key issues realistically become the Republican nominee for president? Let me speak very directly and candidly about where I stand. In 1985, I helped found a company. I learned how America competes with companies in other countries, in other countries. The money he has that he didn't inherit is what he made as a private equity mogul, shutting down companies, liquidating their assets, and firing their American workers. Later, when I served as governor of Massachusetts, I used the skills I had learned in 25 years in business to streamline state government. To get that kind of money, you've got to cozy up as an incumbent to all of the special interest groups who can go out and raise money for you from their members. And that kind of relationship has an influence on the way you're going to vote. Romney is one of the biggest flip-floppers to ever grace the GOP stage. I believe that abortion should be safe and legal in this country. I, I believe people understand that I'm firmly pro-life. You just can't trust a word he says. I have never seen a guy change his positions on so many things so fast. I have never supported the President's Recovery Act, all right, the stimulus. No time, nowhere, no how have I supported the President's stimulus. Uh, I think there is need for economic stimulus. Uh, Americans have lost about $11 trillion in net worth, and government can help make that up in a, in a very difficult time. He was pro-gun control. Then he becomes a lifetime member of the NRA. Mitt Romney is a complete hypocrite and phony. I think you'll find that, that I've been in, uh, as consistent as, as human beings can be. If you're looking for someone who's never changed any positions on any policies, then I'm not your guy. I'm not your guy. I think Americans just don't know sometimes which Mitt Romney they're dealing with. The new cover of Time magazine today asks the question, why don't they like me? Mitt Romney spends little to no time doing interviews on the TV, whereas the other candidates are working the Sunday news show circuit like a politician running for president. Romney often bypassing reporters on the rope line. Remember earlier this year how Romney got a million dollar donation from an organization that just suddenly ceased to exist the next day? It's really someone wanting to give Romney the money while staying in the shadows. Mitt Romney stealing all of Barack Obama's big dollar Wall Street donors. A good chunk of his funds came from his buddies on Wall Street like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and Bank of America. To get that kind of money, you've got to cozy up as an incumbent to all of the special interest groups who can go out and raise money for you from their members. That kind of relationship has an influence on the way you're going to vote. But look, I'm not going to spend my time going after Ben Bernanke. I'm not going to take my, my effort and focus on the Federal Reserve. Should the chairman of the Federal Reserve be pointed again? I think he's doing a good job. You do? Yes, I do. And, and I think it's, uh, it's important to have the Fed as an independent agency. I do not think you want to have the, uh, the, the, uh, the Congress of the United States uh, trying to uh, pull strings uh, at the Fed. He physically, personality-wise, comes across as if he was designed by East German scientists to be the perfect android politician. I thought it was such a disastrous interview for Mitt Romney. Romney's donations from lobbyists actually come to more than all of his GOP counterparts combined. Do you really want this cat to be president? Romney can't win. He's dead in the water. There are a lot of reasons not to elect me. I will be a pro-life president. I believe that abortion should be safe and legal in this country. We do have tough gun laws in Massachusetts. I support them. I won't chip away at them. Now, as governor, I worked closely with the NRA and the Gun Owners Action League to advance legislation that expanded the rights of gun owners in my state. Can you assume the position you were in just moments ago? Now I have something. The federal government expands at the federal rate it's expanding. Buy car companies, bail out banks. We have every good reason to be alarmed and to speak our mind. We didn't waste a lot of money right then. That was an investment made to try and keep a collapse of our entire financial system from occurring. Well, I, I like mandates. Uh, the, man, the mandates good, good, good. work. Mandates I beg your pardon? Here we, <laughs> let me, let I didn't me, know you were going to admit me, that. The, the, the federal constitution does not allow for mandates to be provided by the government. And, oh, absolutely. You like mandates. Let me tell you what kind of mandates I like, Fred, <clears throat> which is this. If the ones you come up with. <laughs> I'd like to ask you to just pass this message along to a friend. Thanks so much.